We just caught up with the mayor for the first time since the Boston School Committee voted to completely shut down a Mission Hill Elementary School. WBZ was the first station to break this news that an investigation uncovered years of sexual abuse at that school, which was mishandled. And now the city believes the best choice is to just close the school for good. WBZ's Anna Myler shows us how the city made the call and why parents are so frustrated. About 200 students who go to the Mission Hill School here in Jamaica Plain have to find new schools for the fall. And some parents we spoke with are upset, saying this is a big life change on very short notice. The doors of this K-8 school will close for good next month, and parents say now they're left scrambling to make other plans. Now people can't even look at private schools, even if that is an option for you. It's too late. Everything is closed. The motion is approved with five years and one abstention. Last night, the school committee voted to shutter the school following a scathing investigation by a law firm that found instances of bullying and sexual misconduct among students had been going on for years and largely went unreported by school leaders. Five families have settled a lawsuit with the district, and some of those victims are as young as five years old. Superintendent Brenda Caselia says this is the best solution. The investigators found that students are still at an increased risk of bullying as a result of the pervasive school culture that has been built and allowed to continue for more than a decade. But some parents say this decision is upending their lives. This mom, who doesn't want to be identified, walks her child to school every day, and now that's going to change. And it seems like there were a few key players. So why Boston Public has to punish the whole community instead of just dealing accordingly with people in the school? I don't, I don't understand that. Mayor Wu says she agrees it's best for the building to close. I know that this is a really difficult time for so many of our families. We have a strong plan in place so that we will make sure that every single student is placed in a school that they are comfortable and happy with and that our educators are, are wrapped around as well. Superintendent Caselia says the next phase of the investigation into what happened here will examine the roles of both school and district officials. Reporting in Jamaica Plain, Anna Myler, WBZ News.